benzene. In this video, we're going to talk about the chemical properties of benzene in terms of its tendency to undergo electrophilic substitution reactions over electrophilic addition reactions. So we established in the previous video, 10.2.2, that alkenes readily undergo electrophilic addition reactions with electrophiles such as halogens and interhalogens, water, and hydrogen halides. However, what we find is that if we put benzene in the presence of any of these species, for example a halogen, nothing happens, we get no reaction. We saw in the earlier part of this topic that this acts as evidence that benzene is not just made up of three double bonds, it's not made up of three alkene groups, because then we would predict it would have the same reactivity as an alkene. Instead, something else is going on, i.e. we have a delocalized pi structure. And what we find is that instead of undergoing electrophilic addition, benzene actually undergoes electrophilic substitution. What that means is that if you put it in the presence of nitric acid, HNO3, and sulfuric acid, H2SO4, both of these need to be very concentrated, you can get replacement of one of your hydrogens with an NO2 group known as a nitro group. So the product in this case is what's called nitrobenzene. The mechanism for this is not required, but you do need to know that when you react benzene with nitric and sulfuric acid, you get these nitrobenzene compounds whereas they do not react with traditional electrophiles used for electrophilic addition. So the main point to take home from this video was that benzene is observed to undergo electrophilic substitution rather than electrophilic addition. This acts as evidence for the delocalized structure of benzene, and the key reaction to look at when it comes to electrophilic substitution is the nitration of benzene, reaction of benzene with concentrated sulfuric acid and nitric acid to form nitrobenzene.